Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Infinity Gauntlet from the Avengers. Now we're going to get started by drawing the stones across the knuckles. So starting in the center of our page, I'm going to draw an oval for the power stone. Starting at the top, we'll work our way down to the bottom of the oval, and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to leave a gap and draw the same thing over on the left. So let's line up the top of the oval. And then again, we're going to leave another gap and draw the same thing over on the left. So let's line up the top of the oval and draw in the reality stone. Now we're going to leave another gap for the soul stone, but we're going to drop this down slightly. Starting at the top, draw another oval. Now we're going to add a frame around each stone. So let's start with the soul stone first. At the center of the stone, we're going to step up. We're going to curve around the side and then down along the bottom. Let's go back to the top and curve out on the inside along the right and then back down towards the bottom. The frame around the center stones are the same. So let's start with the left one. We're going to step up. We're going to draw a straight line going across the top. Go to the bottom and draw that same length line. Now we're going to connect the top and bottom with a slight curve going out and then back in. Let's do the same on the right. Start with the top line, and then the bottom line, and then we'll connect the ends with a curve. And then the frame around the power stone is the same as the one on the left. So we're going to step up from the center, curve out around the stone, and then down towards the bottom. Go back to the top, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Now let's add in the knuckles. On top of the soul stone on the left, we're gonna curve up and then in. Draw a straight line coming across. Now in between these two stones, we're gonna draw a V coming down and then back up. Let's go across the top. And then again, we're gonna draw another V in between. And then we'll go across again. Let's add one more V along the inside. Now we're just gonna go across the top to the outside. Now from the right, I just want to curve the inside of the palm. Curving out towards the right. I'm just going to pull that down in line with the bottom of this frame. Now we're going to add some detail along the back of the hand. So from here we're going to curve in and then down. Now we're going to curve again. We're going to curve in, down. Now we're just going to curve this out towards the wrist. Now let's go over towards the left side. So underneath the stone, I'm going to curve down and just pull that into right about there. I just want to angle this down and out towards the edge of the cuff. Now from these two points, I want to curve down and in. We're going to leave a gap in the center. So let's start on the left side, curve down and then in, leaving a large gap, curve down and in from the right side. And then from here, we're going to draw two short angle lines coming up and in. And we'll close off the inside with a straight line. Now in the back of the hand, we're going to draw in a large oval for the Mind Stone. So let's start at the top, draw in a large oval. Now we're just going to draw a frame around it, so leaving an even space gap all the way around. I want to add a trim around the cuff. So starting on the left side, we're going to step up and leave an even space gap all the way around. Now let's add some detail around the Mind Stone. On either side, we're going to draw a short angle line going up and out. Now we're going to curve around and then down. Curving around the stone, and just pulling that back in. Now I'm going to draw a short line going out towards the side. Now from here, I just want to pull this in towards the center, just above the cuff in the center. Coming down with a straight line towards the top. At the bottom of the stone, I'm going to add a V, just for a little detail. And then we're going to do the same thing on the side, but I'm going to point these out. Going out, and then back in. 
Now let's move back up and add in the fingers. At the bottom of this V, I'm gonna draw a straight line going up towards the top of the first finger. And I'm gonna curve up and then out. And down. Now I'm just gonna angle this down towards the inside of the hand. Let's draw in the second finger. From here, we're gonna curve up and then down. Now I just wanna angle down towards this bottom point with a straight line. Let's add in the third finger. From here, we're gonna step down, curve up and then down. And again, we're gonna angle down towards that bottom point of that V. And then we'll add the fourth finger. Stepping down, curve up, and we'll just curve this down towards the top corner of the knuckle. Let's add a trim across the fingers. Starting from the left, just above the knuckle, we're gonna curve up and then down. On the third finger, we're gonna curve up and then down. Same thing with the second finger and then the index finger. Now let's go in and add in the thumb. From this point, I wanna curve up over this point and then out. So we'll go in over that corner and then we'll just pull that out. Now I'm gonna connect the top and bottom with a half circle, but I'm gonna leave a gap in the middle for the stone. So from the top, we'll curve out and down, and then from the bottom, we'll curve out and up. Let's connect these two points with a curve coming in, down towards the bottom, and then we'll add the time stone on top, connecting these two points with a curve going out and then back in. Let's add a frame along the top. From this curve, we're gonna step up, just trace that on the inside, and then from the inside of the thumb, we'll add another trim. Now we're gonna go up to the top corner of the thumb, draw a straight line going up. We're gonna curve up and in behind the hand. Now back from the top, we're gonna curve across and then in behind the fingers. Now let's move down and draw the rest of the arm. From this corner of the cuff, we're gonna step in, draw a straight angled line going out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, I wanna curve down and in, leaving a gap in the middle. Pull that into right about there. Now from the inside, I wanna draw two straight angled lines going up and in. And then from the left, I would wanna curve this out and up just on the outside of this point. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna trace these out on the inside. So starting on the left, we're gonna step up. Again, leaving an even space gap all the way around. Now halfway along the inside of this line, I'm gonna draw a short angle line coming down and in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve going up the middle and then back down. I wanna trace this out on the inside. Now from the outside corner, we're gonna step in and curve out the side of the arm. So start on the left, we're gonna step in, curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. And again, from the left side, we're gonna curve down and in with a short line. And then from here, I'm gonna draw a straight angle line going up underneath this flap. Let's trim this out on the outside. So from the corner, we're gonna step up, follow that same curve, and then leave an even space gap to the top. We're just gonna add a small detail on the side. From this trim, we're gonna step up, curve in about halfway, and draw a straight angle line going up towards the top. And we'll draw the bottom of the arm. From this point, we're gonna step in, draw a short angle line going out on both sides. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve down the middle, and then back up on the right. Let's trim this out along the bottom, stepping up. Let's add that detail in the center of the arm. Starting up here on the left, we come straight down, 
Now at the bottom, I'm just gonna bend this out towards the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come straight down and then bend that out towards the right. We're gonna connect these two points with a curve. Coming down the middle and then back up. Let's trace this out on the outside. Starting from the top on the left. I'm gonna add some more detail on the inside. On the left, we're gonna step down, draw an angle line coming down and in towards the center. We'll go up on the right side. Now from the center, we're gonna come straight down towards the bottom to right about there. Now let's go back to the left side. I'm gonna draw a curve going over that line, coming down and then back up. Now we're gonna draw some angled lines coming down the side. Starting from the left, we're gonna step down. We're just gonna draw a few lines coming down in an angle and we'll flip that over on the right, going up. Let's do the same thing to the side panel. Starting on the left, we're gonna step up. I'm just gonna angle these down, leave an even space gap in between. And then we'll do the same thing on the inside of the arm. I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail on the inside here. So start from the top, we're gonna leave a gap in the middle. Draw two straight lines coming down. Now from the left side, I'm gonna curve this out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now it's gonna trace this out on the outside. Now I just wanna add a little bit more detail around this frame. I'm just gonna trace this out on the outside. Going around, down the sides. And then down towards the center. Coming down and in back up on the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Infinity Gauntlet from the Avengers. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.